That was soprano Sonia Yoncheva, currently starring in the Metropolitan Opera's production of Othello. And she joins us now to talk about her role and her meteoric rise in the world of opera. Sonia, so great to have you here. So great to, to, to see you and to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for, for being here. You're making your debut in this role mm -hmm. on the Metropolitan Opera stage. Yes. Isn't that unusual? Don't most singers make their debuts in smaller theaters before doing it <laughs> on the Met stage? Yeah, that's true. But my story with the Met is, uh, is very exceptional because I made almost, I think, three debut in the Met. And, uh, and I sang for the very first time Mimi and uh, Rigoletto, so Gilda, and this time hotel. So you're used to it. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about that. You've had a little bit of a meteoric rise, which started, <laughs> what, in, in 2012 when you stepped in at the last minute in that role in Rigoletto, is that right? Yes, exactly. Tell us what well, happened. It was um, one of my colleagues was, was pregnant, and so Peter Gelb wanted me probably to debut on his stage, and so he called my agent. And I couldn't refuse, of course. Of course. <laughs> Were you nervous? Um, yeah, I should yeah. say yes. But you know, it happened so fast that it, I, I didn't have time to to think about it. And then you received rave reviews, and it's been like a star in the making. And a series of events then led to you taking the stage in another lead role five weeks after giving birth to your son? Yes, exactly. Well, that was really something amazing because I didn't expect to start and restart to sing so uh, so early after giving birth. You know, it's so complicated for a woman, no, Absolutely. usually. <laughs> yes. and, I, and I read that you say it, it even affects the way your muscles respond to mm -hmm. singing, correct? Yeah, yeah. It's very different. It's very different. Yes, but I think that after giving birth, a woman wants her freedom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've all been there. Yes, I yeah. agree. Yeah. So that's wonderful. Tell us about this role. What is it about Desdemona that you enjoy? Well, I enjoy her love. She's really honest and uh, she loves Otello with all her heart and uh, she's not afraid of uh, of saying the things directly to him and to point on his weak points saying you were wrong you know <laughs> she's a strong woman she's a strong woman for me yeah. and she's not a victim for me right. never very interesting now mm -hmm. tell us about your your past your childhood in Bulgaria how did you get from there to the stage of the Met well, I started really early with the music and this was because, and thanks to my mother, she insisted on that. She wanted to be an actress herself and she never could do that in her life. So it was my turn <laughs> to yeah. realize her dream. <laughs> and you are very good. <laughs> yeah. I was living in a very modest family and we didn't have many, uh, many opportunities, you know, even to go out of, of Bulgaria because we are talking about uh, communistic Bulgaria, you know, so very enclosed, very um, <laughs> yes. with a lot of fear, you know, but, um, but... When did you realize you had an angelic voice? When did you make that realization? I was 15 years old and uh, I was working in the television and I was a host, like you, <laughs> in a Bulgarian show and it was a teenager show and uh, once there was a chorus and a soloist singing and uh, I was really impressed by the voice of this girl. I wanted to imitate her. So that's how I started. And that's how you started and here yeah. you are today. And what does the future look like for you, Sonia? What are your goals? My goals are to be happy to have my family always united if it's possible. And uh, my career is like a wonderful, amazing accessory to my personal life and I assume it. That's wonderful. Do you <laughs> sing for your for your son? Yes, I invent many songs. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. Sonia, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, thank you.